I've been a lighting designer for 24 years and I've, I've worked for some of the most insane, demanding people, photographers and cinematographers alike. And one of my, one of my main tools has always been the para umbrella. In the past, we always used adapters to attach pre-existing fixtures into the para, such as joker bugs, cobalt HMIs, and tungsten fixtures. There would be a cord hanging out of the front, and although we delivered many beautiful results, getting there was not always graceful, and in some cases, it took a lot of ingenuity to make it work. The new design is very sleek in that the head and the focusing tube was designed strictly for the para. The bulb ends up in the center of the umbrella on the end of the focusing tube which goes through the umbrella and connects to the head which becomes your handle for spotting and flooding the fixture. The ballast plugs into a normal wall outlet and operates at 1000 Hz, which allows you to shoot at a frame rate of 2000 frames per second. We shot break dancers, a boxer, and a modern dancer, all at high frame rates without any notice of flicker. In some instances, you'll notice the lights in the city flickering in the background. Beauty has been the para's legacy. I've used it for many makeup commercials and beauty campaigns. But that being said, I've also used it in many far less obvious but very cinematic ways. I've used it for artificial sunsets, giving us an extra 45 minutes of sweet light. I've used it for love scenes. I've used it as a top-down light quite a bit. A hair light, a rim light, with an egg crate, without an egg crate, diffused, not diffused, partially diffused, netted, partially netted. It's a great light to use with the 360 array as well, as I have to keep lights far and away, but I need to keep them spotted in and retain a soft and beautiful quality of light. I once climbed the shadow side of a mountain with a para on my back and successfully isolated the light beautifully on a rock climber that was 20 feet away from me for a BMW spot. I really don't know how I would have been able to achieve that with any other light. I've been able to get a very natural quality of light out of the new para system every time. Shooting on location today in a, in a dark boxing gym, I thought I'd need a ton of 4Ks. The thing that caught me off guard was just how bright it is. It's very, very bright. We brought the Broncolor 88 and the 133 with the 1600 HMI. We had to cut the light down. It was too much light. There's a dimmer on the ballast itself, which will dim the light down to about 50%. I'm excited to see the system develop further. They've announced a 2K tungsten head, and I imagine there will be many more announcements to come down the road. I can see larger heads in the larger banks, like the 177 and the 222. I think Braun's done a really wonderful job here. It's a beautiful light and I can see myself flying all over the planet producing some real epic imagery with these lights. The para umbrella is so easy to use, so easy to set up, so quick to set up, and yet so durable. It opens up, it collapses, it goes into a bag. I haul this thing around everywhere. I've yet to break one myself and I'm very, very capable of breaking an umbrella if you know what I mean. The Braun Para's durability makes it stand out way over the competition. <laughs>